Uh, on quitte. Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. is now in session. As the chamber informed the parties and the public, today we will continue the document hearing regarding the submission of key documents relevant to the facts mentioned in our memo, that is E223-3, paragraph 4, and that it will be continued by the prosecution. Before I hand the floor over, Mr. Dutch Paris, could you report the attendance of the parties and individuals to today's proceeding? Pour l'audience d'aujourd'hui. Dutch Perry, Mr. President, for today's proceeding, all parties to this Monsieur case President, are present, toutes les parties except the accused in Perry, who is present Yengsel, in the holding cell downstairs de due to his health. Pour des de santé. And the accused, Nunchi and Kiu Sumpon, are absent due to their health reasons. Pour des raisons de santé également through document E258-2 and E223-4, submitted the waiver for the document hearing today. Thank you. President, thank you. À leur droit de participer directement à the floor is now given to the prosecution Merci. to continue the presentation la regarding the key documents related to the population movement phases one and two and Relative the killing site of Tulpo Chirey. You may proceed. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours. Um, can I please start? by addressing um, the question raised yesterday by Her Honour Judge Cartwright with respect to the prosecution's position with regard to document presentations on uh, the role of the accused and joint criminal enterprise. Um, Your Honour, the position is this, that um, given the, the time that's going to be required to select, prepare and combine documents um, at times in three languages, um, the OCP would be in a position to present these presentations at the earliest next at uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Um, I hope Your Honour will appreciate that the OCP and indeed all the parties are having to twin track at present. And what I mean by that is to prepare either for document hearings or for testimony. And, Your Honour, um, we have these two potential scenarios next Monday. One is that the court may be completing the testimony of TCW 100, whose testimony is part heard. The court may be moving on to start the testimony of TCW 110. Uh, and so we're mindful. President, uh, the co-prosecutor, could you please uh, slow Monsieur down a little bit so that the interpreter could make a full record of your statement, particularly the code names for the witnesses. Thank you. Mr. President, forgive me. Um, the code names for the witnesses who potentially could be heard um, and were, of course, in the court's hands, but we anticipate that the court may decide to complete the testimony of witness TCW 100 or may 
decide to commence the testimony of witness TCW 110. The OCP is in a position to proceed in either of those eventualities. Your Honour, plainly, if witnesses were to be heard next Monday and Tuesday, that would sensibly occupy court time and the OCP could then present on the role of the accused next Wednesday and Thursday. Your Honour, with regard to the presentation on joint criminal enterprise, we would respectfully uh, submit that that is a presentation that should take place towards the end of the evidence hearings. Um, we say that because there are obviously other documents to be presented to witnesses who have not yet been called. We wish to avoid repetition and duplication, and we hope that that presentation will be most usefully digested by the judges towards the end of the evidence hearing. So, Your Honour, Judge Cartwright, I hope that addresses the question um, that you raised uh, yesterday. Um, can I say that um, I'd like now, subject to any comments from the judges, to hand over to my learned friend, Mr Veng Hoot, to introduce the document presentation on forced movement. Thank you. President, yes, you may proceed. Le président, allez-y. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours. Good morning, Bonjour. everyone in and Président, around the courtroom. The prosecution will make a presentation to the chamber regarding Nous evidence of forced movement, vous starting des documents from phase one. Et des éléments de preuve that is des when it commenced on the 17 April 1975, and the second phase of the forced population movement, starting in late 1975. In our presentation, we will show the chamber the documents which already exist in the case file, as well as the related events. We also have some videos and photographs to present to the chamber and the parties. And the topics of our presentation are the following. One, the period immediately Before 17 April 1975, and the situation in Phnom Penh. Two, the attack on Phnom Penh, offensive sur Phnom Penh, by the Khmer Rouge force. Three, the arrival of the Khmer Rouge force in Phnom Penh on 17 April 1975. Four, thème, the evacuation of city dwellers. Five, des citadins, the evacuation cinq, of people to various cooperatives in the countryside. De la population Six, dans les coopératives, euh, les zones the rurales, identification process, six, the separation and the execution of former civil servants. Euh, and uh, soldiers of the Khmer Republic regime, and in particular, 
the events that took place at Dole Boudry site. Number seven, the fourth population movement during the second phase, and the number of people to be evacuated and the process of the movement, as well as the consequences on the people. The owners will be presented with the types of the documents as follows. Different types of documents will be presented. The reports by the Secret Information Service of the United States. Second, the documents from the U.S. archives. The documents provenant des archives américaines. A summary from various broadcasts by the Khmer Rouge representatives. Four declarations on the radio reports from international media. Five reports on the press international. Telegrams sent and received from French embassies in Phnom Penh. Par l'ambassade de Six, France à Various Pompen. publications of the Communist Party of Cambodia, différentes publications du uh, Parti communiste du Cambodge, records of visits of the non-standing committee members, rapports de visite par des membres de, des non the membres West, du comité permanent in September 1975 and the report from North West dated 27 March 1977. And uh, this topic, the prosecution will not delve into details of the evidence Related Nous to the ideology of the introduction and development of the policy of force movement, and two, the role of the accused in the joint criminal enterprise regarding the force population movement, as instructed by Judge Cartwright yesterday, and affirmed by my colleague, we already made a request and submission to the chamber regarding this matter. And I would like now to see the floor to my colleague to proceed with our presentation. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. International prosecutor, you may proceed. Mr. President, thank you. Can I please indicate that the first batch of documents will be covering? Uh, the period from Ira, late February, la early March 1975, through to the 16th of April of 1975. And can I begin the presentation, please, by reference to document number E3 slash 334, Khmer ERN 007. 0867 through 8, 0867 English 0043053, and French 0075135, and the Khmer version of that will come up on the screen. This, Mr. President, Your Honours, is a document extracted from the archives of the United States Department of State. Du Département d'État des États-Unis d'Amérique. They produced, in effect, running reports on a monthly basis about the situation in Cambodia. And this entry reads as follows: In country, clandestine radio reports that on the 24th to 25th of February, Q Sampong chaired the second Cambodian National Congress in liberated territory. The Grunk in-country cabinet attended 
Okay, as okay, did 273 okay. representatives of front associations plus de 200 and the army. Et de they declared that, and quote, Ils ont déclaré, it is absolutely necessary il est absolument nécessaire to kill the seven traitors. De tuer les sept Lon Nol, Lon Nol, Sirik Matak, Sirik Matak, Son Yot Tan, Son Yot Tan, Cheng Heng, Cheng Heng, In Tam, In Tam, Long Boret, Long Boret, and Sostene Et Fernandez. Sostene Fernandez. Other politicians and high personalities, however, Autre may join FUNC if they stop cooperating le funk with the seven now. Next, please, can I move to the document E3 slash 3551, the Khmer ERN. 00725702 and the French 00763934 we are still dealing with US Department of State documents and this page records an entry des for the events of the 28th of February of 1975. Under a heading Indochina, the following is stated. Inaugural flights of U.S. Rice Airlift went smoothly with three planes Making total ten, effectué au total dix vols. Tan Sot Nyut de Tan Pen trips, Phnom Penh, without mishap, sans incident. Rebel rockets hit near the airport. Des rebelles ont frappé près de l'aéroport au début du pont de Rive. The next entry within that document is on Ensuite, Khmer page 00725704, French 00763394, and English 00413033. While most people in Phnom Penh have enough to eat. Bien que la plupart des gens à Relief Pompen agencies report thousands of refugees starving de with the beginning of food airlift. Avec le début du pont aérien. The next extract is from E3 slash 3334. The Khmer ERN is 0074-0864-0868. The French at 0075-1931. English 0041-13054. And the document records this. Aid has now been authorized to begin a Rice program. Il a, on a up de to 20,000 metric tons of rice de riz, près de 20 000 tonnes stored de in Vietnam qui has been Vietnam, transferred ont été for immediate use. This will enable the voluntary agencies Cela aux and the Red Cross et à la to greatly increase their feeding programs for refugees pour les and other needy people. Et les up to 150 tons a day of rice jusqu'à 150 tons de riz par jour par pont aérien. On March the 2nd of 1975, rice Etc. stocks in Phnom Penh totaled at 8,000 en tout à 693 metric tons, or a 
16 day supply at the official distribution rate. Selon les taux de distribution While no rice arrived in Phnom Penh via the Mekong, Alors, or from local Penh harvests, Penh Mekong, par le Mekong, the airlift from Saigon, Saigon began on the 27th, the 27th of February. February and delivered 1,694 metric tons in the initial four days. The operation is proceeding satisfactorily, with the number of flights increasing from seven on February the 28th to 14 on March the 3rd. À celle du 3 mars. Still within that document, dans ce même document different page numbers. Page. Khmer 007 Khmer 40 Rice and fish prices rose about 7% Les prix du riz et du poisson ont augmenté de près de 7% au cours de la semaine to écoulée, lead an overall entraînant une augmentation générale des prix of about 3%. de près de 3%. Black market prices au marché noir, of US rice le prix du riz américain rose a grimpé 5%, de 5%. And Batambang rice et celui de Batambang à 9%. Same ERNs, Toujours à la même English place. for this one, 0041-3056. Um, average group prices for meat, poultry and vegetables remain steady. Le prix moyen de la viande, des volailles et des légumes est resté stable alors que celui des fruits a augmenté de près de 3% et celui des produits locaux de près de 2,5%. Toujours sur la même page. After several weeks of relative inactivity, the Khmer Rouge took the initiative again on the east bank of the Mekong. Across from Phnom Penh, they took key positions ils se sont emparés de positions stratégiques à Ta Chau et Prélong. Another entry on the same page, Toujours same sur la même page. Theme. Toujours sur le même thème. The fall of Pret Leung has given the Khmer Force Gunners better rocket coverage of downtown Phnom Penh and put them in mortar and put them in mortar et mis leur mortier et canon recoilless sans recul rifle range à portée de la base navale of the naval base on the peninsula sur la péninsule just east juste à l'est de the capital. la capitale <coughs> same document different ERNs Khmer 00740871 Five one nine three three and English zero zero four one three zero five seven between February the twenty fifth and March the third. 47 rockets exploded in Phnom Penh City. Rockets ont explosé dans Phnom Penh Sorry, can I quote again? Between February the 25th and March the 3rd, 27, mars, 47 rockets exploded rocket in Phnom Penh City proper, à Phnom Penh. <coughs> killing 19 people Faisant and wounding 29. Et 29 119 additional rounds landed obus in the Pochentong area, Pochentong. although few reached the airport. Même si The rounds killed nine and injured 61. Incoming rounds at both locations have more than doubled since the last count. Can I move next to documents from the 9th of March? I'm just, uh, this is a, a document that I propose to read. 
It's from the 9th of March. It's an entry from the United States Foreign Broadcast Intelligence Service Report. The acronym FBIS, referred to in this court, FIBIS. FIBIS, comme on l'appelle ici. This is a record from the 9th of March, 1975. The heading is the French, uh, French Press Agency reports more embassies evacuating personnel. Que de nouvelles ambassades évacuent leur personnel. And the entry for the 9th of March reads, Pour le 9 mars, voici ce 15 dit. people were killed and 23 others tuées, wounded today when Khmer Rouge insurgents blasted Phnom Penh Rouge and its Pochenton airport with rocket fire. The next Par document, um, E3-120, uh, English ERN 001-66. Sorry, forgive me. Excusez-moi, dit l'orateur. Can I start again? Uh, the document is E3-3336. The Khmer ERN 0035044, leading to 45. French 0059974 through 55. And English 0041312. Again, US Department of State document. E3 3336. This is for the 11th of March 1975. On the economic front, Planning goes forward plan for implementation of the new RICE program for Cambodia. Cambodia. And Cambodge. then under the heading political, Ensuite, sous at uh, Khmer ERN 006 35045, same French ERN. Même page en français. President Lon Nol's reported remark Les qui to a congressional delegation that he would be willing to resign in the cause of peace au service de la paix. predictably became a prime topic. Son, and further in the uh, quote, Prime Minister Long Moret gave a press conference in which he said that Lon Nol himself and members of the government Ainsi que des membres du gouvernement are all prepared to resign tous prêts should à that help bring peace. Within the same document, Khmer ERN 00635049, French 005-99762, and English 0041-13, one, three, two. 132. This entry. Voici ce qu'on trouve. Sihanouk also gave an Sihanouk interview to Le Monde. Accordé un entretien au journal Le Monde. He referred to the recently Il completed Grunk Funk National Congress du récent and du its decision to grant complete amnesty to all on the government side, tous les du except the seven traitors who must be killed. Être tués. A few lines down, Sihanouk denied there would be a bloodbath if the Khmer Rouge forces took over. A few lines below that, this entry. The theme that only the seven traitors must die 
le thème selon lequel is now being stressed repeatedly in Khmer Rouge force broadcasts. This is probably designed Ceci to serve the double purpose of appealing to wavering objectif, elements inside Cambodia and to rebut growing speculation abroad about possible massacres in the wake of a Khmer Rouge victory. The next um, extract Extrait has Khmer ERN 006-35050, French 005-99763, and still English 0041-3132. And under the heading Economic, there is this entry. Under the newly authorized rice program for Cambodia, deliveries began on the 5th of March, with airlifted rice being moved to a specially designated warehouse from which voluntary agencies will make direct withdrawals upon approval of the Ministry of Refugees. The first distribution was made in Phnom Penh on March the 7th. It is estimated the refugee and other needy categories will reach a total requirement of 3,600 tonnes per month. On March the 11th, USAID and voluntary agency representatives met with the government to develop further plans for the programme. On the next page, in, uh, or moving partly from 5-0 to 5-1 in Khmer, using the last numbers, de la page 50 à la page 51. English ERN 0041 133 and French 0059973. This brief entry. Voici ce qu'on trouve. Rice stocks in Phnom Penh on March the 10th totaled 8,454 metric tons. And these stocks represent 15 and a half days supply at the current daily distribution rate. Still within the same document, Khmer ERN 0063500. French 0059975, English 0041313134. From February the 27th, when the rice airlift from Saigon started, through 9th March, there have been 124 sorties flown, delivering 4,998 metric tons, or a daily average of 11 sorties at 454 metric tons. And on the same page, another uh, red boxed item. Uh, except for charcoal, which went up 17%, prices were relatively unchanged in Phnom Penh markets during the past week. The same page in Khmer, French ERN 005-99765, English 0041313135. Uh, market activity appears to be off slightly due to sporadic rot rocket attacks directed towards the centre of the city. On the next page in Khmer and French, under the heading military, 
and this is still the 11th of March report. The city of Phnom Penh received incoming rocket fire during the week, but by far the greatest number of rounds were fired by the Khmer Rouge troops at Ho Chi Pong airfield. Another red box on the same page. The government situation along the lower Mekong deteriorated even further when troops at the last friendly position between Nhat Long and the South Vietnamese border were evacuated on the 7th of March. Within the same document, Khmer RN 00635053, French 00599767, and English 00413136. This entry. Outside of Phnom Penh, there was little change. The southwestern city of Kampot is getting steady enemy pressure and mounting civilian casualties while holding its reduced perimeter. Next, can I please move to a new document? Je passe à un autre document. E3-120. There are no translations in Khmer Il or French. Pas de the English ERA is 0016681010. This is an extract from the FIBIS report for the 13th Fibis of March. It's recording a radio interview, and the heading is as follows. À la radio. Paris Radio interviews Sihanouk on Sihanouk the Cambodian situation, situation and this was on, uh, re being reported on the 12th of March 1975. Mars the quote is as follows. The situation is daily getting a little worse in Cambodia. The American air bridge, which supplies Phnom Penh with food, fuel and ammunition, was suspended again yesterday because of the intensity of shelling by the Khmer Rouge, who surround the town. Marshal Lon Nol himself said that the nation is in danger. In Washington, President Gerald Ford is pressing Congress to grant extremely urgent aid to Phnom Penh. Within that same document, again, there are no translations that I have said, but if I can move, please, to English ERN page 00166821. And this was a record of an interview with a representative from the United, the National United Front for Cambodia. And that person was a Politburo member of the National United Front of Cambodia. And his name was Chao Seng. And the question from the interviewer was as follows. Question. Mr. Ford and can I interject and explain? Ford. That's the U.S. President si, Gerald, Ford. Ford. Mr. Ford Gerald Ford. Mr. Ford, Ford claims to fear a bloodbath after the collapse of the Phnom Penh regime. Phnom Penh. Your National Congress, Congress on the other national, hand, part, has named the seven traitors who must be eliminated. What will happen? Qui va se Answer. Réponse. 
The bloodbath is happening now since the 1970 It will cease when American intervention ceases. Apart from the seven traitors who organized the coup that brought Cambodia into the war, all other Cambodians, including officers and civil servants, can join with the National United Front of Cambodia when they cease collaborating with the Lon Nol regime. Our National Congress has just restated that we hold fast to the policy of a broad-based union of the whole nation and all the people, irrespective of class, politics, or religion, and regardless of anyone's past, except for the seven traitors. Within the same document, toujours dans le même document, at English ERN 001 66830, still on E3 slash 120, there is a report that on the 15th of March 1975, um, a work session was held at 0930 at the Ministry of Refugees under the chairmanship of the Refugees, Construction and Community Development Minister to devise ways and means to better utilize the special US aid of 20,000 tons of rice for free distribution to refugees and needy people in the Khmer Republic. And on the same theme, but on the next page, so that's 0016683 on an English ERN. Rice distribution to refugees and residents of Phnom Penh and various provinces is to be increased from 150 grams to 300 grams per day per person. Within the same document, and can this please go up on the screen if possible, Khmer ERN 007-00233, it's still within document E3-120, the English ERN is 0016-6826. This again is an extract from the FIBIS reports for the 17th of March 1975. The heading of the item is Q Sang Pong appeals for intensified struggle 15 March. And this was from a broadcast by the voice of the National United Front of Cambodia of Phnom Penh, brackets, clandestine, close brackets. It was in Cambodian to Cambodia, and it was broadcast at 0700 hours Greenwich mean time on the 15th of March 1975. And the text of the broadcast was, uh, it was an appeal to monks, countrymen, and foreign residents in Phnom Penh and other provincial capitals under temporary enemy control by the Deputy Prime Minister, Q. Sampong. 
and to extract just one line from the broadcast at page English 001-66828. I quote, you are asked to intensify your struggle against the traitors, attacking them from the inside. En les attaquant de l'intérieur. Still within the same document. This is E3 slash 120. I'm now moving to. Je passe à présent. Uh, no, in fact, forgive me. Non, uh, document number E3. Document E3. Slash three three four one Bar English zero zero four one three one nine four and French zero zero six zero six seven one three. These are U.S. Department of State reports from the eighteenth uh, of March nineteen seventy five. The first um, item I, in fact, want to read is one further digit in both Khmer and French. Uh, the rice airlift, expanded to provide free food to refugees and the needy, has brought in over 700 tons daily since March the 15th. Within the same document, Khmer ERN 00631505 and French 00606715. And this is reporting the Sihanouk interview with French TV and radio. The Prince apparently acquiescing Apparemment, in the February 2nd National Congress decision, noted that the seven principal and former government leaders have been sentenced to death, but that others would be granted clemency mort, if they were not too late in cooperating si with Grump. Within the same document, Khmer ERN 00631509, French 00606718. This is still within E3 slash 3341. And English 00413198. It's noted, Ying Sari left Peking for home 15th of March. Um, with alternate funk Politburo member Kier Chon and his wife aboard his special plane. And red box on the same page. On the 15th of March, Q Sampan broadcast an appeal for intensified struggle in which he set forth his view of the government's agony. He noted serious losses to the Republican Navy and asserted firm insurgent control over the Mekong. He claimed the government lacks forces and is in a situation of general collapse. Within the same document, Khmer RN, 00631510, French 00606719, English 00413199, under the heading Economic. Um, the opening rice stocks on March the 17th amounted to 8,341 metric tonnes. 
representing a 13-day supply level based on daily distribution of 400 and, sorry, 545 metric tons to the population. And the tempo of the rice airlift substantially increased in the last three days. The civilian pole airlift is meeting the target of 120 cubic meters a day plus 45 cubic meters every other day from Saigon. On the 13th of March, USAID continued its dialogue with the US and international voluntary agencies encouraging them to press harder and further to feed the needy of the city under the newly instituted RICE program. And on the next page in Khmer, which is ERN 00631511, same French and English ERNs, the overall price level rose slightly less than 2%. Still within the same document, so we're still on U.S. Department of State documents, and this uh, is on Khmer ERN 0063154, French 00606072, and English 0041320. Uh, and there is an entry that on the March the 15th, the Khmer Rouge drove off several positions near Nhat Lung's southeast perimeter, penetrating to within a few hundred meters of the city. The next document is a FIBIS report, Ensuite, un rapport no Fibis translations in Khmer or French, so I propose to read the English, which is on ERN English 00166851. This is um, an extract from the FIBIS report, and it's covering events on the 20th of March of 1975. The heading to the entry is Rockets Hit, Long Borets Home and Just Miss the US Embassy. And the extract states this Rockets today hit the homes of Prime Minister Long Borets and Cambodian Naval Commander General Vong Serendi in this besieged city, but neither was injured. A total of 20 insurgent rockets slammed into Phnom Penh, killing four people and wounding 15 others. Moving now to a new document, is E3-118. No Khmer or French, English ERN 00166901. It's a FIBIS report. It's covering events on the 1st of April 1975. The entry reads as follows. Joli. On the 1st of April 1975, and this is a radio broadcast Il radio. by the voice of the National Zohar United Front of Cambodia, Fink. again clandestine, Un it was in Cambodian to Cambodia, au Cambodge, en Cambodia, and it states as follows. Joli. On the 1st of April 1975, in the afternoon, our Cambodian People's National Liberation Armed Forces completely liberated Nhat Luang base. 
This victory has Cette extremely great strategic significance. For this base is the enemy's main system of strategic positions on the Mekong River. This means that Cela henceforth our CPNLAF and Cambodian people are in complete control of the Mekong River from Phnom Penh to the South Vietnamese border. There is then an entry on the next page of this document, which is English ERN 001. Six six nine zero. Nine zero. And it's covering again the first of April. And this was a radio broadcast April. on the third of April, April, but it was covering events emission. on the first of April. And it states as follows: As of the first of April, nineteen seventy-five. Il est dit la chose After suivante, Marshal Nonlol left Cambodia, du 1er avril 1975, après que le the Marshal duties of President of the Republic Cambodge, les fell on me, de de Sao Kham Khoi, Chairman of the Senate, conféré, moi, in Sam conformity Kham with the Constitution of the Republic. La Constitution de la République. And he talked of finding a way to save our nation. Il, uh, solving the conflict through peaceful negotiations. Nation, negotiations. He spoke of the government of the Khmer Republic wanting to make Khmer contact with the brothers on the other side to draw up a plan to end this war. Plan, afin de fin At this point, can I please ask for the assistance from the ITU unit? Mr. President, Your Honours, I will be playing a series of ITU. video extracts as part of this presentation. Je à à la régie de... I would like the IT unit to play video number one. De faire that is a video which was vidéo entitled vidéo Pol Pot, le titre The Killing Embrace. Pol Pot, it lasts embrace. for 50 seconds. Une de this was an extract cut from the full version of this documentary. The reference within the case file is D108-32.2R, and it's item 988 within that combined exhibit. This is a 50-second excerpt. Donc, il it has an English commentary. Les sont en the IT unit um, will translate, in effect, from English. Je vais donc aux de and can I make it clear that this is the only extract du seul within the presentation that will have commentary? Où il y aura des, euh, so please, um, can the IT unit play video number one, à la the extract from Pol Pot, de The Killing Embrace? Thank you. Pol Pot, the Killing Embrace. President, Le President. the heavy unit, could you please play the video as requested by the prosecutor? doit maintenant projeter le document. Sorry, Mr. President, can I ask this to be played with le sound? Pourrais-je demander que l'on mette le son? Can I ask that it be rewound and played from the start with sound? Thank you. Et euh, le projeter avec le son. Unit, le could you please start from the beginning? La chambre en joint de la présidente de la régie de heard. projeter le vidéo avec le son.
the Khmer Rouge are now fighting alone. Under peace terms agreed in Paris, US forces withdraw from Vietnam, and for their part, the North Vietnamese army leaves Cambodia. Pol Pot gives the order to fight on Pol Pot alone. Donne Victory is now just a matter of time. Se battre seul après que les forces du Nord Vietnam aient quitté le Cambodge. La victoire est maintenant entre leurs mains. By the beginning of April 1975, the demoralized forces of Lon Nol have fallen back to the perimeter of Phnom Penh. The city's population has been quadrupled by refugees from the countryside, and they sustain heavy casualties from the Khmer Rouge bombardment. From the Khmer Rouge bombardment, they suffer plusieurs blessures, or have suffered plusieurs blessures because of the bombardment of Khmer Rouge. Our troops are fighting on the ground, and they are fighting on the ground. 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 Thank you. Le procureur, je vous remercie. Uh, moving next, it's document E3-118. This is a FIBIS report, only in English. English ERN. 00166919. It's reporting an event on the 4th of April 1975, and the heading is Private Weapons to be Borrowed. And the extract reads as follows. Under the current difficult circumstances and within the framework of the cooperation system of the general mobilization organization, the government has decided to borrow weapons from our citizens regardless of whether they have licenses for these weapons. Still on E3, one one eight. Toujours dans ce même document. Report for the sixth of April, nineteen seventy-five. English ERN zero zero one six six nine two one. Fibis report. Donc un rapport Fibis. Heading. Le titre. Long Borat stops in Bangkok on route to Phnom Penh. It's talking about events on the sixth of April. S'agit donc des événements du six avril. And the quote is as follows. Je cite. Reuters reported Reuters that the First Minister Long Boret arrived in Bangkok on Sunday afternoon on his way from Jakarta back to Cambodia. A couple of lines down. He said there will be no military victories, only negotiations, and stressed that if the other side does not agree to negotiate, it will be held responsible for any consequences, which, for any consequences which may arise. Long Boret is also Boret called for democratic elections in the country under international control so that people can freely choose their leaders. The next entry is covering the 9th of April 1975. The Khmer ERN is 007-002-74-75. The English is 001-66-927. This is a broadcast by the voice of the National United Front of Kampuchea. In Cambodia, to Cambodia, its heading is Q Sampan denial. And it reads as follows: second paragraph. According to some Western sources, a few days ago, the contemptible Long Boret. Le méprisable Long Boret said that there was a contact for negotiations with the other side. These sources reported that the puppet Thai foreign minister had said many times that there was negotiation between the Cambodians of both sides in Bangkok. He had also said that the contemptible Long Boret had met with a representative of the other side for four hours in a good atmosphere. 
on behalf of the entire Cambodian nation and people, toute la nation cambodienne et de son the peuple. Cambodia People's National Liberation Armed Forces, les forces armées de libération nationale du peuple Khmer, the National United Front of Cambodia, le Front National Uni du Cambodge, and the Royal Government of National Union of Cambodia, would like to issue this statement to firmly refute this deceitful maneuver. This is a very abject maneuver, which good normal politicians abhor. At a time when the desperate lackey clique is in agony, it only dares to make such a deceitful maneuver in order to deceive its masters. As they have previously done on several occasions, Alors que les, the voilà, NUFC and the RGNUC euh, would like to make it clear again to, to the national and international opinion that they have comme, absolutely comme never negotiated passé, with, nor will they ever accept, dit, negotiations with the traitorous clique. Jamais négocié, qui n'accepteront jamais de négocier avec la clique. Moving on to the 10th of April. 10 avril maintenant. Still on document E3/118. The English ERN 00066937. No translation in French. Aucune traduction. And this is. Again, a Fibis report of a rapport, Fibis. Uh, report that was broadcast on the 10th of April. Du 10 avril. The Cambodian nation and people, the NUFC and the RG, RGNUC, have already brought in a verdict against the seven uh, super traitors, Grunk and they are named. Déjà the residents and youths will annihilate and put an end to the existence of traitors, Sirik Matak and Long Boret, who are now in Phnom Penh. At present, the people and the CPNLAF are attacking Phnom Penh from all sides. The Cambodian people are pursuing their offensive without compromise of negotiations, and the popular armed forces and the people of Cambodia will annihilate the anti-national, arch-rotten, arch-fascist traitors who are then named, as well as their regime. The CPNLAF has already reached the doorsteps of Phnom Penh, Prey Veng, and Kampong Spu, and are advancing towards liberating Cambodia 100%. I move now, please, to a document covering the events on the 12th of April 1975. This is a FIBIS report, Donc, uh, rapport Fibis, E3-118, uh, English ERN 00166939-40. No translations in Khmer or French. I therefore français. have to read the English. The heading of the item is Long Boret addresses the nation after Sao Kham Khoi flight. It was broadcast uh, on the 12th of April 1975. On the second line of the main body, there is this stated. This morning, Lieutenant General Sao Kham Khoi, acting president of the Khmer Republic, left Phnom Penh without first informing the nation. His departure has left our republic without a Supreme Chief Executive. Therefore, I immediately called a meeting at Cham Kamon Palace, which included responsible state personalities. 
qui euh, sont les différentes personnalités de l'État. En yellow. Plus loin. On that occasion, I Écrit. and à Lieutenant occasion, General moi, Sak Sutsakan, et le Lieutenant Général Sak Chief of the General Staff of the Cambodian de National Armed Forces, Forces delivered a report. And then after several hours of deliberations, the meeting made the following decision. Firstly, that Lieutenant General Saukum Khoi is no longer recognized as the acting president. And then on the next page, it was unanimously resolved to ask Parliament to transfer power to the National Armed Forces for a period of three months. The Armed Forces will establish a temporary body to be called on the Supreme Commission of the Commission Khmer Republic de la to replace the acting president during président this special time. Moving next to a document covering the 15th Ensuite, of April 1975, still E3-118, English ERN 0016-958. The heading for this is the French press agency reports deteriorating military situation on the 15th and 16th of April. L'agence France Presse rapporte une situation militaire se dégradant. Government troops today abandoned the industrial suburbs of Takmao. Les forces gouvernementales ont abandonné aujourd'hui les périphéries industrielles de Takmao à quelques 6 000 ou 10 km du centre de Phnom Penh après avoir subi un barrage tir d'artillerie Khmer Rouge. Et c'est attribué à Jean-Jacques Cazot, un French journaliste de laquelle vous allez entendre plus tard. Source de ces informations, c'est Jean Jacques Cazot, un journaliste situation on the Phnom Penh front. La situation militaire sur le front de Phnom Penh s'est considérablement dégradée pour son importance in the past few hours. Les forces de défense dans les dernières heures, abandoning les forces of the city's du gouvernement ont abandonné positions. trois des positions défensives Same essentielles document. de la ville. ERN English 0016-950. Again, the 15th of April. And the heading is the NUFC radio reports Ponchentong Airport completely liberated. And the broadcast stated as follows. On the morning of the 15th of April, at 1000 hours, we completely liberated Ponchentong Airport. Hundreds of officers, soldiers, and pilots were routed, were routed sorry, or captured. And in Tall Cork village, on the morning of the 15th of April, we assaulted Tall Cork. And from kilometer marker number six, we are attacking and advancing towards Russell Kiao. And then also events southeast of Phnom Penh. On that same page, an entry again for the 15th of April. This is on 0016-950. Fifteenth of April, it reads: Red Khmer forces today launched an attack on the southern Phnom Penh suburb of Kval Tal, about four kilometres from the centre of the capital. The Red Khmer attackers forced four battalions of government forces to pull back to establish a new defence line immediately north of the United Nations Bridge, which spans the river Bassa. Still within the same document, English ERN 0016966. Still on the 15th of April. The heading is this. Government appeals for doctors to treat casualties. The broadcast was on the 15th of April. And the text is as follows. Brigadier General Tim Mam. Dean of the Medical School and General Inspector of the Military Health Department and Major Ong Son Son, Superintendent of the 400th Military Hospital, 
appeals to all the fourth year medical students and higher grades, as well as military and civilian surgeons, to report to the clearing center at Botray Kaila Sports City to help administer medical treatment to the wounded. Same document, English ERN 0016968, still on the 15th of April. This was um, a broadcast entitled, or the entry is entitled, Civic Matak writes Ford D on US abandonment of Phnom Penh. And the entry reads as follows. Prince Sirik Matak former Prime Minister and a key figure in the coup against Prince Norodom Sihanou, today sent a telegram to President Gerald Ford saying that, quote, all present and future Cambodian deaths would be on the conscience of the American people. On the next page in English, which is 0016969, it's reported that the Cambodian news agency, news agency yesterday published General Cyril Matak's reply to Mr. Dean. I quote, I thank you very sincerely for your offer to take me to freedom. I cannot, alas, leave in such a character As far as you are concerned, I would never have believed that you could have abandoned us. You are leaving. And if I die here, it will only be because I made a mistake. I believe in you. Moving to a New document, but on the same theme. E3 slash 3445. The Khmer document runs from ERN 0073843 through ultimately to Khmer 0073846. The front page in English is 00443342, and in French 00777633. Le this is in fact a document which is entitled um, a memorandum. It's on paper bearing the symbol for the White House in Washington. It records a cabinet meeting that took place in Washington on Wednesday, the 16th of April, 1975, at 2.30 p.m. And the meeting took place in the cabinet room of the White House. The extract that I'd like to refer to is on Khmer 007, 3843 through 436 French 00 I want to read to you the letter we've received from Cyric Matak, one of the Cambodian leaders to our ambassador, when our ambassador invited him to leave with the evacuation. And then there's a quote. Dear Excellency and friend, I thank you very sincerely for your letter and for your offer to transport me towards freedom. And then I cannot, alas, leave in such a cowardly fashion. As for you, and in particular, for your great country, I never believed for a moment that you would have this sentiment of abandoning a people which has chosen liberty. You have refused us your protection, and we can do nothing about it. You leave, and my wish is that you and your country will find happiness under this sky. But mark it well, 
that if I shall die here on the spot si and in my country that I love, it is too bad because we are all born and must die one day. I have only committed this mistake of believing in you, the Americans. Next, please, I'd like to return to E3-118, recording Revenons the events still of the 16th of April 1985, English RM 001 959. Again, Phibis reports, this is for the 16th of April, and the entries read as follows, the first one. Red Khmer troops have occupied the control tower at Pochentong Airport, about 10 kilometers west of the capital, the Republican radio announced at 4 p.m. today. A broadcast also the same day, against, again reference to the French journalist Jean-Jacques Cazeux. Hopes for a last-minute ceasefire rose here today when desperate fighting lulled after a long, dark night of despair and panic as the Red Khmer closed in for the kill. The lull came suddenly, late in the morning, as the uh, Red Khmer began to punch through in the suburbs. As the battle's tempo brusquely slowed, particularly well-informed sources, said that the Phnom Penh leaders could in the coming hours make a serious ceasefire proposal to the royal Cambodian government of National Union, the RGNUC, to halt the present fratricidal suicide. The next page in English Zero, uh, sorry, a few pages. Zero zero one double six nine six zero. Then reports this. À la page suivante, le même document. And Mr. Retrouve. President, can I can I uh, ask this, please? I can see the time, but can I just um, finish the 16th of April? Que je and that, then I hope is a logical pause. Early today. As the situation worsened in the south, Red Khmer troops brought the university under mortar fire to the west of the capital. They have moved down the road which leads out to Ponchintong Airport. This highway remained open but off limits. The government threw up roadblocks to keep out refugees fleeing in panic following reports of the Red Khmer infiltration. At 4 p.m., the government radio said the airport control tower, something had happened, words in The noise of persistent weapons fire rolled into the capital from Pochentong early today. Government troops were dug in on the railway about 700 meters to the north of the airport towards Highway 4. There were no aircraft the flying de on the contested runways. Two paragraphs Les down, the lull came today after a grim night. Premier Long Borette, obviously close to despair and overwhelmed by the turn of events, admitted that the military situation was catastrophic and that stocks of rice would only last a week. Mr. Long Borat seemed last night ready to accept any decision that would end the fight. Then, within the same document, English RN 0016970, this is a FIBIS report, we're still on the 16th of April. And the heading of the broadcast is Phnom Penh leaders request ceasefire, transfer of power, 16th of April. And the entry reads, the text of today's offer by the Phnom Penh government of a ceasefire and a transfer of power to Prince Norodom Sihanouk, head of the royal government, 
of National Union of Cambodia was released by the Prince's Cabinet here today. A été rendu public par le cabinet du Prince, du Prince aujourd'hui. And then, dealing with the response to the ceasefire, can I move to English ERN 00166971? Fibis report, 16th of April, heading Sihanouk rejects offer. And the entry reads. Voici ce qu'on lit. Prince Norodom Sihanouk of Cambodia today rejected as unacceptable a proposal from Phnom Penh Supreme Council President Sutsakan and Prime Minister Long Barret for a ceasefire and transfer of power. En vue d'un cessez-le-feu et d'un transfert de Next, English ERN 001 66963. 166-963. 16th of April. 16 avril. There is a heading to a broadcast. CPNLAF. Issues appeal to the people to liberate Phnom Penh. And this was a broadcast um, by the NUFC in Cambodia to Cambodia. And it was a broadcast at 0400 hours Greenwich meantime on the 16th of April 1975. And the text reads Our armed forces are in complete control of Ponchentong and the portion of Route 4 between Ponchentong and Phnom Penh, and they have reached Tolkork and kilometre marker number 6. All brother compatriots in Phnom Penh and the few provincial capitals under enemy control are invited to take to the street and take up arms against the enemy, thus contributing to the liberation of Phnom Penh, Batambang City and other towns under temporary army control. Mr. President, that concludes the 16th of April. Um, is it now appropriate to take the mid-morning break? President, thank you. Merci. The time is appropriate for a short break. We will take a 20 minute break and return at 10 to 11. The court is now adjourned. Suspension de l'audience. Show.